Okay, yes, it's, you know, we buy it. All right, at this time, we're joined by Coach Izzo. Coach, if you want to start with an opening thought. Yeah, I'm very disappointed in the way we played. I thought our guard play was was very poor early. We got in a little bit of foul trouble with AJ, ever with uh, Malik. Um, we we're playing okay when Aaron, and I, you know, I didn't see these flagrant fouls. I mean, there's more stoppage right now in a game. It's no fun to even play the games. It's hook and holds. It's stoppage. I'm not saying right, wrong, or indifferent, but there was a lot of Aaron, Aaron's call, you know, when he's going up for a shot and he gets hit, and I didn't see it. So, but that changed the game too. We we're, you know, going to the free throw line. We we're three minutes left, and all of a sudden, it, it uh, a couple of baskets, and then you're down 11. Then we start out the second half, and two big stops, two big baskets, falls on the floor. We didn't dive after it, in my humble opinion. They get it, get a three, and then it went downhill. So uh, they played pretty good. Uh, we did not play very good. Um, so we got some work to do. I'm looking forward to Sunday. That's it. All right, our first question, we'll go to Larry Lage. Tom, you, you addressed what I was going to ask about, that, that loose ball when the game was, you know, there, uh, competitive. How much does that bother you, uh, an effort-related play that, that wasn't executed, I guess? I'll just say you've known me for 30 years. You, you figure it out and write it what you want to write. Our next question, we'll go to Brendan at the impact. Hey, Tom, I know you already talked about it a little bit, but that foul on Aaron Henry, would you say that that was the turning point in the game for your team mentally? Well, you know, I, I'll be honest with you, it shouldn't have been. Uh, it was a big call because it put him on the bench. I, I did not see it, so I have no idea. I mean, you guys all saw it replayed. I mean, you know, I, I did not see it. So, uh, you know, was it a right call, wrong call? I don't know. Was it a turning point? It was a it was a big play. So let's just say that. And if it was the right call, it was still a big play. I I would agree with you. Next question, we'll go to Lindsey Huddleston. Hey Tom, uh, Joey mentioned looking forward to Sunday. You did too. Is this an opportunity to finally rely on that AAU culture of playing a team again real soon that can give you some get back the way you want? I love you, Lindsey. Don't ever address me with AAU culture. Okay. I have no interest in that. Trust me with NBA culture of playing back to back. I have no interest in any other basketball. Uh, there's too much of that going on right now. So um, I'm interested in getting another shot at them. And uh, they played well, beat us fair and square. I thought it was strangely, uh, it was a strange game and a lot of weird calls, a lot of hook and holds. And until I see the film, I, I don't know what's right or wrong. There were some changing plays that we didn't make that I thought make a difference. Give them credit. Uh, they played well. Duly noted. Appreciate that. Next question, we'll go to Chris Solari. Hey, Tom, you, you mentioned it kind of getting away there after uh, that one play, that loose ball. You guys had a little bit of momentum coming out of halftime. Uh, I, I guess when you saw it going away, there, what do you think were the biggest culprits? I mean, did it, was it, did it look like dead legs, shots short, um, effort related? What, what did you think what, in that, that big stretch that they put it away was the biggest thing? You know, a lot of those things are all uh, culprits, um, but it's hard to have effort related things coming right out of halftime because you should be a little bit fresher, but I, I don't know. Those are, there's no excuses for that. Uh, you know, I, I, I think as it went longer and I tried to, you know, had to make sure I get some guys out of there. But um, no, it was no, uh, I don't think it was any fatigue stuff. I think it was more, um, unless maybe some of the effort is caused by fatigue. Uh, but I didn't think uh, those couple of plays that are maybe Michigan State lore, uh, when those didn't happen, I thought we... Uh, Got in foul trouble. We got Aaron a little frustrated, and he's been playing so good. So we'll bounce back. We've been here before a lot this year. As, as a follow to that, you mentioned about uh, you get an extra day in there. Uh, how do you deal with them uh, over these two days now to, to try and try and heal and, and mend for that? I don't think I'm going to worry about healing. I think I'm going to worry about um, practicing. So. Um, at least one day I'll get to practice here.
in one day in about two weeks, and uh, we need it. Um, that's not all their fault. But, uh, you know, I thought we were really prepared. I liked it. I, you know, I got to admit, we didn't do some of the things we said we were going to do on some ball screens and that. Uh, that was individual players just kind of maybe not getting enough reps at it. So we'll try to fix those things and do a little better job. You know, I, uh, I, I think we, we felt good enough that we played good enough in stretches and we think we know why uh, things went away and we'll keep that between me and my team and then we'll go from there. All right, next question is from Kyle Austin. Tom, Josh, two for 10 tonight. Just wondering how you kind of thought he looked physically. I know you kind of thought he was really gassed the other night. And do you have to think how you kind of manage him going forward now? Josh is okay. I mean, he's okay. Uh, they did a good job on him. But it was a little bit of rough going, but we didn't run the stuff that we wanted to run. And uh, that wasn't all Josh's fault. So we'll uh, we'll get Josh back on normal. He, he was great. I mean, after the game, you know, tired. I mean, he's going to be tired, but he wasn't uh, dying or anything. Legs weren't gone. He missed a couple good shots. Um, you know, a lot of people miss good shots. And, uh, you know, I, I got no problem with Josh and Aaron, none whatsoever. All right, we have two final questions for Coach. We'll start with Stoney. Yeah, yeah, Coach, uh, a couple of things. First, Aaron, it looked like uh, he was so good in the first half. Do you think the team was depending on him maybe too much? It was almost like him against uh, Michigan, yeah. basically one against five. Yeah, I, I'd say that he got into that a little bit. We got into that a little bit. Um, sometimes, you know, when I got to put him at the point, um, you know, that – People wonder why I don't want to play him or Josh. It wears you down to play that position if you play it right. And, uh, you know, he did play well the first half until he got in that, uh, you know, whatever. And, it, and did anybody see it? Did, what Was it – do you know what happened? Hard to say. Yeah, it looked like he was going up and he elbowed, but it was definitely not intentional. It could have gone either way. No, but Aaron's I, never but done it, that in a million no, years. You know? was, and, and on, 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 a broad, on a broader question, because the first half particularly, both teams, no flow the game. It God. seems like the officiating just tries to take over, and it's, it's a boring watch. I mean, they can complain, you can complain, but at, from the, the broader spectrum uh, from college basketball, it's just it's bad. It's got to stop. Boy, <laughs> did we just elect the president? Because if we didn't, <laughs> I got Stoney for president. <laughs> Um, you know what? I, I'm dead serious. Uh, I agree with that. I agree with it. Me watching games. I mean, I watch a million games. And uh, we've got so much stuff. We got that circle in there. You jump up and it's this. You got hook and hold. You, there's no flow to any game. I, I, would, I couldn't agree with you more. But that's maybe not the official's fault. Maybe it's the rules committee. But, um, you know, it, it's there's no flow to anything. I, I Hooray for you. Plus, if you say it, no, fine. If I say it, although then again, who cares? <laughs> you don't have to worry. I'm not running for president. <laughs> Thank you. Our last question, we'll go to Stephen Brooks. Hey, Tom, when you look at three straight games, you guys have shot in 30% uh, overall. Is, it, is there any pattern there, I guess, that you're noticing in those three, at least these past three, or has each been kind of its own case? Um. I don't know, the three before that, we averaged 50%, you know? I mean, are we wearing down a little bit? Maybe. Uh, are we, uh, you know, not, uh, not making shots? I mean, uh, you know, it, it's really, really difficult when our best shooters are having to be our playmakers. And uh, so we've had some problems there that will get straightened out, I think. But I don't know. That's a good question. I don't. I don't think it was a lack of, I didn't think we took a lot of the bad shots. I thought we missed some good shots in the first half. And, uh, you know, they missed some shots too. And so second half, um, we missed more shots. And uh, they made some shots. And that was the difference in the game. Thank you. All right, Coach. I appreciate your time. Thanks, guys.